I'm going to go over the process of configuring an Active Directory fine-grained password policy. So to start, I'm logged on to my primary domain controller and I'm going to go to Tools and then Active Directory Administrative Center. Within the Administrative Center, on the left-hand side, if you go up to your Active Directory Local and then go to System and then Password Settings Container. Within the Password Settings Container, this is where we can configure our uh, fine-grained password policies. So to do that, we can right-click and do New Password Settings or hit New Password Settings on the right. Now, if you've ever set the password settings using a group policy, you'll notice this is basically the same settings. However, if you do have if you do have a group policy settings in your default domain policy, if any users have this policy applied to them, this will just overwrite whatever the group policy one is. So there's no need to make any amendments or decommission any group policies if you've got group policy password settings. So the way I prefer to start is by creating a group for all users. So I'll just call this fine grain password policy, all users, and we'll give this a precedence of 50. So the way the precedence works is it is a, give it a number between one and 99, and then the lowest number policy has the most precedence. So if a single user is applied to multiple policies, uh, they will get the policy which has the lowest precedence number applied to their account. So for all users, we'll just give a basic one. So a minimum of seven characters, uh, enforce the password history. Let's say they don't need any complexity requirements and they can have uh, no password changes. So it's just a very basic one. It doesn't really matter what the settings are. So you can uh, configure any of this however you want. If you want, you can enforce an account lockout policy. But for all users, we'll just do um, very basic, just as a demo. So to apply it to a group, we can scroll down and in the directly applies to, we can go to add and then select a security group. So I will apply this to domain users, check names, and then hit OK. So now what I've done is created a password policy and applied it to all users. So the benefits of using the fine grain password policy is that we can have multiple policies in place rather than just a single one using group policy. So if we do new and then create a secondary one and call this um, fine grain fine grain password policy finance and then give this a precedence of 40 and then give this some stricter rules. So we can say these need to have 14 character password. It must meet the complexity requirements and they have to change it every 42 days. And for this one, we'll enable a lockout. So if they enter an incorrect password three times within 30 minutes, it will lock their account out for 30 minutes. So with this one, instead of applying it to all users, we will apply this to a security group that I've created called finance, which has everyone in the finance department in the security group. Now, with the finance security group, the users that are in there are also a member of the all users security group, sorry, the domain users security group. So they will have both of these policies applied to their account. So, but because this has a precedence of 50 and the finance group has a precedence of 40, any users in the finance group will have this policy set because it has a lower precedence level than the default policy. So we'll, we'll get the stricter password policy. And that is the basics for setting up an Active Directory fine grained password policy. Again, if you have a group policy set up, so if you in um, your default domain policy, if you have previously configured any of these settings, if any user has a fine grained password policy applied to their account, this will take precedence regardless of what the policy is in here. So this can be extremely strict, but if they get applied this basic policy, this one will take precedence over the group policy. So you don't need to decommission anything within group policy. And that is the basics for fine grained password policies.